going crazy Kaylin here with episode 10 of Greedfall. In the last episode, we had helped Kurt figure out what the hell happened to Rainer. And unfortunately, we cannot complete that quest until we progress further in the main story. And before I ended the last episode, we had something come up for Vasco and he wanted to basically learn more about his past. So we're going to help him with that and then hopefully get into where is it old yeah old countries in a new world that's an uh because i want to try to progress the main story since we've been doing side quests out the wazoo since we showed up in tier 4d which is really easy to do because this game has a lot of stuff on the sidetrack which also i don't mind just because in this game um, I feel like you have to build relationships a lot, and the only way to do that is to do some side quests. So, it's been okay, and we've got to learn a little bit more about New Serene, but I would like to eventually progress the story. So, uh, I'm going to talk to Vasco and uh, see if we can get the, the next quest. Go I'd on. like to know more about my family. I need to know what became of them. Could you accompany me to see Lady Morange? I'm afraid that without you, she may refuse to give me any information. I sure can. Let's do it now. All right, Vasco. Let's go see Lady Lorene Morange. Lady Lorene Morange. Such a pretty name. Okay, let's -a go. This way. And transition. And hello. Good day, Lady Morange. Do you remember me? Of course, Lady de Sade, isn't it? I hope that you and your cousin have grown to like it here, but I have little reason to believe you have paid me a visit to exchange civilities. Can I be of service? Yes. We would like to have some information regarding an important family, the Darcys. Well, I could tell you many things about them, but I suppose that you want to know something in particular? Are there any members of this family on the island? Indeed, Bastian Darcy, the son of the family, has been in New Serene for some time. Last I heard about it, he was doing business, but that doesn't help in knowing where he is. The Darcy's first attempt at establishing themselves on this island wasn't very fruitful, but I seem to recall that since then the son has found a competent associate who's been working here for a long time. Perfect. Really? Could you tell us where to find her? Of course. Ask for a Madame Clerk near the warehouses on the port. That's where she normally is. I hope the Darcy's are not in trouble. Do not worry, Madam. Their name was simply mentioned in some business discussions. We are thinking about becoming associates. We would like to know more about them to form an opinion. If you ask me, you should forget this idea, Your Excellency. Their son is a poor business partner. Why do you say that? I do not mean to speak ill of him. Perhaps it would be better for you to form your own opinion. Well, thank you for your help, madam. Can I help you with any other matter? Interesting. Um, let's see, what else can I learn about? We'll just ask her opinions. What can you tell me about the relations we have with other nations? We play a difficult role, caught between these two enemy nations who are nonetheless our allies. The smallest action could tip the balance and draw us into their conflict. If I may offer some advice, be very careful. We do not want a war to break out here. Understandable. What about the islanders? You seem interested in the islanders. As a matter of fact, I find their culture fascinating, but I can't say I know much about them. They are quite secretive and protect their cult and traditions from the curiosity of strangers. I know that their sages, they call them Donegaga, are the guardians of their rituals as well as of the island. They have very strong links with nature and the creatures that inhabit it. They're also good healers. I could talk about them for hours, but you will learn more from the islanders themselves. Good to know. And the island in general. What do you know about this island? Much less than I would like. The land is still wild and extremely rich. Its soils are full of minerals, some of which are unknown to us. With regard to the flora and fauna, you've probably seen how different the creatures and plants are here. The islanders protect their land fiercely, and we cannot begrudge them that. When you see what we have done with our own, well, such a source of richness attracts greed. 
Interesting. Okay. I don't really want to ask too much about New Serene since we've been traveling around here. We know there's some problems with the coin guard and uh, the merchant stars, so Goodbye. don't need to know mo too much about New Serene. I was just more curious about um, her opinions on stuff. Uh, what else? Nothing to loot. Not that I would because she's she's a nice lady. Cart, move. Vasco, move. Jesus. Out of my way. Okay, where do I need to go next? Let's see. Question Madam Clerk, Bastion Darcy's associate. Alrighty then. Transition! And a book. Can I help you? Are you here to do business? Are you Madam Clerk? We would like to meet with your associate, Mr. Darcy. Bastion? I don't know where he is. I can't say that he often graces us with his presence. You don't have the slightest idea where he is. I am not his caretaker, you know. You don't seem to hold him in high regard. Listen, my relationship with my associate is no one else's concern. And if you didn't come to do business, well... Hmm, let's see. Collect a debt, I can't do that. Try to convince her or bribe her. Let's try to convince her first. We must find him. This man you can see by my side is his brother. Do not insult my intelligence. I know that the Darcy's Fuck. only have one son, alas. You can see the Nort tattoos on his face, can't you? And a merchant like you must surely know about the Nort's recruiting process. I can see the Nort, but a Darcy. And with all this blue on his face, he doesn't really resemble his brother. Fine. I've got a hunch that your associate has brought you more problems than benefits. What would you say if I offered you some gold to compensate for your losses? Hmm. I see that you understand the struggles of a simple merchant. I do, I he do. He was supposed to go to Hikmet to deal with one of our clients, but I didn't receive any news from him after his departure. And given his tendency to get himself into impossible situations, I didn't try to get any. Who is this client? His name is Ferrat. You'll find him in the Alchemist District. I'll write this down. You think something may have happened to him there? His mission wasn't very complicated. He had to pay for a valuable shipment and take charge of it. With Bastion, anything is possible. Thank you, madam. Interesting. All right, let's go figure out what's going on. That way? Where is that exactly? Is that out of town? No, that should be in town. Hold on. It's not. Okay, then. Um, we're going to take a quick break on that one, and let's start the next one. Uh, the, the main mission. Let's see what's up with the Telemi. Where are they? If I can stop pressing the wrong buttons. Not in town? Oh, they're just outside over here. Alright, then let's, let's go investigate that really quick. Exploration. Tier 4D is made up of several regions connected to each other. As you explore, you will discover campsites. They allow you to rest and travel quickly. When you reach the end of a road, use the travel interface to select your destination. There are also caravans near major cities for you to quickly travel from one city to another. Good to know. It finally stepped outside of the town. So there's a caravan. How far are they? They seem to be right over there. So let's... Let's go take a look. This place is pretty. Ooh, what's this? Hawthorne. So that's Wild Hawthorne. Music's picking up again. Are you gonna fight? Yep. Square up! Not much of a fight. Oh, hello! Why didn't it let me switch? Switch weapons! Why can't I switch? I'm not doing damage to him. There we go, Jesus. He's dead. So when the music starts picking up like that, that means a fight's starting. Get him! Did you get him? Nice. 
Rusty dagger, silver signet ring. Where the other ones go? This, oh, okay. Al Sad boots. Someone from the Al Sad attacked me, or was that someone who just? That's probably someone who had uh, some of their gear, like a uh, bandit or something, and just jumped them. Grab that. Okay. Oh, I forgot to loot another. Oh, quite a few. Okay. It's fine. We're not even going that way anyway. Oops. Old rusted saber of course. Travel leaving area leaves. Oh, okay. Two hours. Yeah. Let's go up the road. And then I guess we'll backtrack. To go continue Vasco's. Merchant camps. During long journeys, you can stop at wandering merchant camps. There you can buy or sell items, manage your companions, or access your chest. The crafting table allows you to upgrade your equipment and create potions to continue the next area. Continue down the path. Okay, cool. Hey! Long time no see. How you doing? I haven't talked to you in a bit. Do you need something? Do you have any new dialogue? No, you told us about that last time. See you later. You may continue your journey level loaded. What's this? St store take. Oh, okay. Okay. Let's go. kind of cool there's like a travel pause kind of reminds me of a uh, dragon age when you have those like camps you can rest at while you're traveling what the hell is this pine resin they look like they're looking for a fight let's go pay him a visit What up? Ooh! Ooh! He hit hard! These guys are strong! Holy shit! What happened to Kurt and Vasco? Did they get downed? I think they did. Okay. Oh, damn. Okay, maybe not gonna pick a fight with them. Yeah, let's... Let's not. Let's ignore them. really weird that it does that. Let's ignore them. They don't exist. Oh, I see beasties. Beastie boys. I don't know if we're in a good area. These... Wow. Okay. Um... I'm gonna go around. Oh god damn it. Okay, these guys are easier to fight. Ow. Brown Oog. Block it. There we go. Pick, pick up. Okay. Let's finish heading up the road. And then I want to go back and do the Vasco thing.
caravan. Okay. Hmm. What? Yes, Kurt, yes. Why did I pick a bile? That's gross. How much farther? Wrong, wrong, wrong. So we're almost there. Oh yeah, we need to complete that native quest too at some point. Um, to meet, um, what's his name over back at his village? To thank him for saving his uh, brother? Or, not his brother, I think it was his cousin actually. But still, we have to do that. I forgot about that. Oh, hello big boy. An alpha og. Bitch boy. Oh, I got him. Come on. Gotcha. Come on, let me. Let me loot. Sharp thing. Cool. I don't know why I'm picking a bile. Is that like an alchemy ingredient? Seems kind of gross to me. Maybe for like poisons? Inquisitors? Right? Ooh. I think that might be better than what I have. It is. Shall gladly equip that. What's up here? Huh? Oh. What's this? Itinerant Priest's Diary page. Heading east towards New Serene, I heard some travels tra travelers talking about a treasure which they had hidden behind the lone tree on the cliff. I'm worried these people might be bandits and the famous treasure is the fruit of their looting. May the enlightened come to my aid. Hmm. Interesting. I think that was uh, a Teleme guy. He seems to have been attacked by the the Olgs. Can I can I not get stuck on rocks? Where do I have that marker? I forgot to meet the bridge alliance about that there. Oh, I gotta go all the way over there? You know, I wanna wait to do that. Let's go back to New Serene. I'm sorry. We've adventured a bit. Alright, we're back home. Cool. Let's talk to... I don't know why it didn't tell me to... Maybe because I picked the... Do I have to pick individual... Alliance, uh, no? Meet the Bridge Alliance governor and ask about the Malachor. It's beyond that. That's in San Matthias, but what about here? Where is it? It's, it's probably up in here, isn't it? That's Malachor.
Is it that way? Hold on. Let's see. Let's actually go this way. Because that way leads to... That'll lead in, this, in a similar direction. So let's go that way. Forgive me. I'll, I'll cut out the extra bit of travel and stuff. We did a little bit of exploring towards the Telemere. Transition! So the way we went before... Oh, there's new serene. That's pretty. The way we went before was more of a foresty area. And this area seems a little bit more like rocky and mountain-like. What are you? Hello! Okay, goodbye. Have fun, be safe. What's up here? Oh, getting stuck. Hello? Ooh. What this? I got crude iron ore. Sorry, I was itching my nose. Itchy nose. There's more olgs. Olgs. I think that's what they're called. Hey, big boy! Pew, pew. Nice. Come on, stop. I'm gonna loot. There's gotta be an easier way to get out of attack stance. Figure that out eventually. Alright, let's keep going. That place is interesting. Ooh, what's this? What's this? What's that? I don't know. It's all interesting. Hello! Hello, friend! Wait, where are you going? Hey! Just gonna run into the bush. Goodbye! That's another caravan. They probably cost money, though. That's my guess. This place is gorgeous. I wonder if the fauna and enemies change depending on the time of day. Like, it's almost nighttime. I mean, I know there's a bunch of olgs over there, and I kind of want to go fight them. But, like, I wonder if there's specific creatures that you'll only see during the nighttime. It's also good that we did some side quests because now we've leveled up a bit. Hit me. You, that's okay. Okay. There we go. That's what I was trying to do. You mother of. Can you not? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. Okay. Some of the enemies in this game are a little unpredictable. Like, it's both a good thing and a bad thing. It drives me nuts when I'm trying to attack or block or something. And then they just go on a chain uh, attacking spree that prevents me from blocking or healing or doing anything. And then I can't even predict it properly. It can be very annoying. Okay, I don't want to go all the way over there for that, and I want to continue, so let's keep going this way. This is really pretty, though. The atmosphere of this game is, is gorgeous. I love it. There's just a bunch of Hawthorne, and I already have a whole bunch. 
Hello, little buddy. Run, little buddy, run. I want to try fighting these assholes again. Because we can kill them. Fucker. Remember me? Kill him, Gert. Nice. Nice! See, we got this. Some more oogs. Oh, yeah! Come on, big boy. Oh. Can you not? I leveled up! You mother of... Did he really get a- wait a minute, he got all of his health back. Is it- where- I'm leaving the combat zone, that's why. Okay, hold on. I'm over here. Okay, got past his armor. There we go. I kept running out of the combat zone, that's why. Oh, wow. Cool. An intact heart. It's a weird thing to sell to a merchant, but all right. Unless they're like a butcher or something. Or shark fangs again. There's a lot of these guys. I may or may not cut out some of the combat, because I do want to try to level up some. But I also go quiet during combat, because I get focused, so... I may not leave as much combat in, unless, like... I don't know. Come at me, big boy! hey -ah! He's dead. Okay. Oops. Another sharp fang. Some leather. Oh, I want to check something. Is I, I thought I looted you, but I guess not. Okay. Is bio an ingredient? Is that an ingredient for um like po it is. So what is it used for? Resistant and balanced potions and antidotes. Okay. Cause I was like, why the fuck am I picking a bile? That's disgusting. It's disgusting! Why would you pick up anyone's fucking stomach fluids? It's nasty. I'm getting stuck on a rock. I want... Stop! Let me pick up my thing! Oh my god. Oh my god! I'm getting trolled by the environment. Okay. There's more of these guys. Oh, these are Veilings. I thought these were olds. Well, they look like werewolves, almost. Bam. Bam! So it seems like the areas are set up in zones with pathways that you can go. Kind of like how Kingdoms of Amalur is, like you're in a specific section, and then if you go to an area like this, you can travel in that direction and end up in a new area. Except, um, I guess it would be kind of like Dragon Age. Nine hours, damn. Where basically 
you would travel, like travel the road, but then you would get stopped by incoming fights and stuff. The only difference is that you would travel that area and kill anything in that area and then continue to travel. Let's see. Quick intermission, gonna sell some shit. Okay. Region of Hikmet. Find the Darcy client and meet the bridge alliance. So this is closer. I'm glad we did this first because the Toleme is much farther and I think that area is a little bit of a higher level. So let's let's continue to loot stuff. Ooh. You're a big boy. Hello. Oh, you're another big boy. Something tells me you're hostile. You are. Dantry. Ooh! Big boy charged me. No, no, no. Yeah. Yeah. Did it really? I don't like that there's a range. What? What kind of range is that? That's actually kind of annoying. The combat rage in this game is a little questionable. It was weird. Those are some big boys. I think I see some more big. No, those are rocks. Yeah, I want to go see off what's off this way really quick, and then we'll progress. Gods, hello. Uh, no. Uh. Dude, same. Uh, I don't know if I like this area. Seems a bit suspicious. Hello? That's a dead deer. Oh, it's not a dead deer. Hello? Whoa. Are you okay? I don't think he's okay. This is interesting. We can set up a camp here. Cool. It's not marked on your map. You can travel from here or be transported here directly to travel. Awesome. Nice. Okay. I'm glad we came this way. And then what's over here? Oh. Okay, random animal. I don't know what the skull means yet. But these guys seem like they might be... Tough. Let's try it anyway. Nah, they're not that tough. There's one dead. Yeah, these guys are definitely easier than the last one. Yeah, we got them. We good. Okay. Let's actually continue onward, because this has been a lot of exploring, which I'm not against. Because we've finally been able to leave New Serene, and the areas are beautiful. I love it. But let's actually get back on track. Oh, music's picking up again. wonder why. See a big boy. Hello, big boy. How you doing? Sneaky, sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky. He has a lot of health. Oh, there's another big boy. Oh! Oh, he killed me! 
Holy shit! Okay, thankfully it didn't uh, set me back too far. So let's kill these assholes and then let's get back to the main city. These are easy. Stop leaving the battle range. Ow, you fuck. Ow, you fuck. Fine. Oh, you are... You're an ass. I'm spamming you. You asshole! Rude! Rude! Almost died again to something dumb. You know, I guess it's kind of nice that the enemies will spam too and do things that people would do, I guess. But it's also very tedious. Or annoying, just because... Okay, hi. Um, because then I get stun locked and die by stupid stuff. Music's picking up again. I think it has to do with the big boy. Mamali big boy alone. Hello there, goats. Hello. Hello. Dude, same. Totally relatable. Oh, hello! Okay. This seems very interesting. Halt. What's your destination, milady? Just into town. I'm an emissary of the congregation, and I'm here to discuss matters with your governor. Why the checkpoint? We've got orders to verify all comings and goings. The roads are becoming dangerous. Do you have anything particular to report? Nothing out of the ordinary. Well then. Good travels, milady. Well, thank you. Got to go. Now, I noticed that I could either travel to the Teleme or the Bridge Alliance first, so I'm wondering if by traveling here first, I end up um, improving my alliance with the Bridge Alliance rather than the Teleme, or if it changes the story at all. I wonder. Now, how far is that? So it is basically here. Well, that's pretty. Region of Hikmet. Wow. It's gorgeous. Set up camp. The fuck? Oh. Halt. Your names, titles, and business at hand. Lady de Sade, emissary of the Congregation of Merchants on Tier for D. I have come to present my regards to your governor. Your papers seem to be in order. Welcome to Hikmet, Your Excellency. They seem very protective of who comes and goes in the city. Come closer. Come closer. All my wares are in the vanguard of progress. Hello. Your Excellency, welcome. I am honored to receive such a prestigious guest. Why you thank you. Not regret it. My wares are the best in all Hikmet and always in the vanguard of progress. What's up with the uh, this? And holy crap, what's wrong with my character? Straight from the continent. That's still where the most refined objects come from, isn't it? But others are also crafted in Hikmet, of course. We have some great workshops here. Interesting. Who cares what I got really quick? Thanks for your visit. 
She got some pretty okay stuff, but I don't have a whole lot of gold. Let's go see Bastion. Alrighty. Bastion? You Bastion? You're not. Is uh, Bastion here? Hello? He must be Bastion. Or Fur Hat. Hello, sir. Is this the house of the man called Farath? It is I. What can I do for you? We're searching for Mr. Darcy. He was supposed to come here to do business. Yes. Yes, he did come here, but I don't know where he is. <sighs> to be honest, our exchange did not exactly go as planned. And if you are his that? associate or a member of his family, know that you owe me a large sum of money. How so? Well, this Darcy fellow came here to take the shipment, and he was supposed to deliver me a promissory note. Which never arrived, I imagine. How could you let him leave with your merchandise without payment? Well, he's the son of a very well-known family. I did not deem it necessary to try and obtain more guarantees. What if something happened to him? Nothing happened. At least I don't think so. Why should that concern me? I'm not his brother. He owes me money, and I do not have the slightest idea of where he might be. I suspect that you are not telling us everything. Oh, uh, come on. If you have not come to repay his debt, leave me alone so I can work in peace. Hmm. Hmm. Do you know? Greetings. If you have come to do business, head upstairs. If there's any business left to do. Why do you say that? They haven't been paying me. And I've had to work with cheap ingredients for weeks. Have you heard of a man called Bastian Darcy? <sighs> it would be difficult not to. His name is the only thing my boss talks about. Apparently, he did not pay for one of our shipments and still left with the goods. And now my boss makes me work twice as much to compensate for his losses. With ingredients I wouldn't even feed to a pig. And Damn. what did your boss do? Well, he spent every waking hour cursing his name. That's how I learned about it. Okay. What do you do here, exactly? I create and prepare complex potions. Not simple health potions, but far more subtle things. And if I'm not mistaken, things are not going the way you would want them to. The boss has always been difficult, but ever since he got ripped off, it has been a living hell. I work using leftovers thrown away by all the other alchemists while listening to him screaming at me and everyone else all day. This is no way to live. How can a brilliant, conscientious alchemist keep working here? I am certain that any great laboratory in town would welcome you with open arms. So why continue protecting your employer? Oh, you're right. Yes. Anywhere is better than here. My boss did not only curse the name of the man you're looking for, he also hired some thugs to find him and our shipment. Interesting. I think we may need to have a few words with your employer. If you could also tell him that I am resigning, then I won't need to go upstairs. Fair enough. Oh, so what's this? Letter from the run of the mass Letter from one of Master Ferret's acquaintances. My friend, I am deeply saddened to hear about the difficulties you are facing as a consequence of your dealings with Bastian Darcy. I was told that this boy was in inconsequential, but I did not think him dishonest. Alas, you know, if you were to wait for his family to repay you, the wait could prove very long. Correspondence with the continent is quite slow. But there are other solutions. Debt collectors could prove useful. I hope that you will manage to find a solution to this problem. This guy's being secret and dealing with some assholes. What else is new when it comes to RPGs? You again. I already told you that I do not know where the man you're searching for is. You may oh, know bullshit. where he is, but you did everything you could to find him, didn't you? What do you mean? Does this document ring a bell? You hired some debt collectors to find Mr. Darcy. How dare you rummage through my belongings? 
You could have taken legal action and retrieved what you were owed, but you sent some killers instead. I doubt the governor would approve. Do you want us to tell him about it? No. But please, understand me. The Darcy family is on the continent. It would take months for them to reply to my complaint. What other solution was there? My shop will not survive this. Tell us who these debt collectors are, and we'll take care of it. They loiter in an alleyway of ill repute, not far from here, in the science district. That's what I feared. Probably a bunch of cutthroats. If Bastion survives... If he survives, remind him of what he owes me. Yes, yes. <sighs> Oi. We need to see what's up with him. Hey, you! Leave this man alone! What do you want? No one asked you for your opinion, so get lost! Maybe he's friends with the weakling. Maybe. In any case, it seems like he wants to share his fate. You Over my afraid? dead body. I've fought uglier people than you. Vasco, let me try to take care of this. How much money are we talking about? You're here to collect a debt, right? Between what he owes our client and our commission, it's a hefty sum. But if you want to pay in his stead, my lady, please do. 200? Here, pay it. take this and leave. Thank you, my lady. It was a pleasure doing business with you. Come on, we'll leave you with your weakling. I hope I never cross paths with you again. Hopefully. Thank you for your intervention. I thought these brutes would kill me. Don't mention it. It's only natural. But how did you end up in such a situation? Oh, I'm certain someone like you, who belongs to high society, will understand. There is a game table here that is attended by the best of the aristocracy. I lost the money I owed to that merchant while playing there. And since I got out with a few other debts, I had to leave the merchandise as repayment as well. But that's a mere trifle that my father would have paid for without thinking twice. I never would have thought that someone would send these types of brutes after me. What a lack of tact. In any case, I am extremely grateful to you. To whom do I have the honor of speaking? My name is Captain Vasco. Nought and Sea Given. It was a pleasure, sir. You didn't tell him your real name. Probably because it would be hard to, uh, to actually tell him. Well, does he have any new dialogue from that? Desarde, can I do anything for you? No. I must leave you. Okay. Oh, there we go. Thank you, Desarde. My pleasure. But why didn't you tell him who you were? But I did tell him. I was stupid. I resented everyone, and you even more, for the life I didn't get to live. You had it all. Everything I thought I was entitled to. But after seeing Bastion, I realized that in the end, I was exactly who I wanted to be. A naught, and a proud one at that. <laughs> I'm glad to hear it. No more regrets? No more regrets. And I certainly don't regret not being called Leandra Darcy. <laughs> <laughs> cool. I'm glad we, uh... Helped him figure out his true self. That explains why his name wasn't changed to, uh, Leandre, uh, when he first found out. Glad to see you, my friend. Can I do anything for you? I'm gonna ask him about his brother. What did you think of your brother? Meeting him in such circumstances must have been upsetting. I had high expectations for this encounter. I was naively hoping for some emotional reunion. And I found myself in front of a conceited and selfish idiot. Need I say more? No. Hmm. I'm always curious because I don't want to pick something that ruins a friendship. Oh. 
Let's go with this one. It was disappointing. This encounter must have allowed you to assert yourself and sweep your regrets away. This is true. And I'm very grateful to you for it. You helped me and accompanied me in a period of doubt. Thanks to you, I feel like myself. It's a service I will not forget. Did you want anything else? Nice! If I can keep asking him stuff. Yeah, what do the what tattoos do the mean? Nort's tattoos mean? The first tattoo we get indicates whether we're sea born or sea given. The rest of them tell our story. They tell of everything we've been through, our rank, but also the storms we've sailed through. Sure. What do yours mean? That I am a sea given. That I sailed through a hurricane when I was but a simple sailor. That I performed several voyages as a captain without losing a single man. Does my Impressive. curriculum really interest you? <laughs> it's important to me that I get to know you better. I'm flattered, but there are other ways to do so than questioning me, you know. Did you want anything else? No, I must leave you. Nice! We got some more dialogue on him. Alrighty then. Um, I'm going to end it here. This has been a little bit of a long one. We've done a lot of exploring and got to see a little bit more of Tier for D. Um, and we got to uh, help Vascal figure out what's going on with him. In the next episode, since we are here, we're going to tackle the cure for the Malachor. And that is to talk to the Bridge Alliance governor here. Um, and we'll take care of that in the next episode. Alrighty then. Bye!